Well, good morning and welcome to Daily Prayer. Today is Tuesday the 21st of June and uh, I do hope that you're well. Thank you for joining me. As always, we use the form of prayer written by the Reverend David Adam in his book, The Rhythm of Life. We use one of the day's readings and a reflection on the reading. On a Tuesday, the overarching theme of prayer is incarnation. And so we pray. Blessed are you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, yet born of the Virgin Mary. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Holy God, holy and mighty one, holy and strong one, abide in us. Holy God, holy and incarnate one, holy and indwelling one, abide in us. Holy God, holy and life-giving one, holy and guiding one, abide in us. And the psalm today is Psalm 121. My help comes from the Lord. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. And he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. My help comes from the Lord. And this morning we're still reading from the uh, book of Joshua. And we're in Joshua chapter 21, beginning at verse 43. So the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to, their, to give their ancestors, and they took possession of it and settled there. The Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their ancestors. Not one of their enemies withstood them. The Lord gave all their enemies into their hands. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Then Joshua summoned the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and said to them, You have done all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded, and you have obeyed me in everything I have commanded. For a long time now, to this very day, you have not deserted your fellow Israelites, but have carried out the mission the Lord your God gave you. Now that the Lord your God has given them rest as he promised, return to your homes in the land that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you on the other side of the Jordan. But be very careful to keep the commandment of the, and the law that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, to keep his commands, to hold fast to him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. Then Joshua blessed them and sent them away, and they went to their homes. To the half-tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given land in Bashan, and to the other half of the tribe, Joshua gave land on the west side of the Jordan, along with their fellow Israelites. When Joshua sent them home, he blessed them, saying, Return to your homes with your great wealth, with large herds of livestock, with silver, gold, bronze and iron, and a great quantity of clothing, and divide the plunder from your enemies with your fellow Israelites. So the passage for today. And this week the reflections are written by the Reverend Colin Heber Percy. He says, after generations of slavery and wandering in the wilderness, the Israelites are suddenly settled. They find themselves in a radically new situation and now the real test begins. Tellingly, Joshua's speech here is more about covenant than it is about conveyance. Yes, the land is passing into your ownership. Well done, good and trustworthy slave. But remember, this land is given you with conditions. Observe the commandments. Love the Lord your God. Serve him with all your heart. I love it in pirate movies when the X on the map has been reached, the treasure dug up, a casket hacked open to reveal heaped doubloons and jewels. Go on, delve in and throw handfuls of loot into the air. It's a natural human tendency. At last we are rich and free. As Joshua reminds the Israelites, precisely the opposite is the case. It is a deep scriptural truth. From one to whom much has been entrusted, even more will be demanded. Taking possession of the promised land does not release the Israelites from their obligation, but ratifies it. Whatever we feel about the invasion narrative in Joshua it's not a land grab, it's a land gift. In our freewheeling and, and piratical parvenu world, we are taught to think of possession and ownership as inoculation against being controlled, 
and as authorization to exercise control over others. The God of Israel is here to tell you otherwise. But it wasn't their point of freedom, it was their point. Uh, it ratifies their obligation to God. Now they're settled. And so we pray, beginning with the collect for this week. God of truth, help us to keep your law of love and to walk in ways of wisdom, that we may find true life in Jesus Christ, your son. Amen. And we continue in prayer. That the coming of Christ may disperse all darkness, that the birth of Christ may hallow all life, that the love of Christ may be in every heart. Lord, have mercy. That the peace of Christ may fill the world, that the descent of Christ may uplift all peoples, that the humility of Christ may teach us gentleness. Christ, have mercy. That the presence of Christ may be within us, that the power of Christ may be upon us, that the spirit of Christ may fill us. Lord, have mercy. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace in the laying down of weapons. We pray for all those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war and peace, for wisdom, discernment and compassion to guide their decisions. Above all, we pray for all your precious children at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray this in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. And we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of Mary, born into a human family, may we know you in our homes. Bless our families and friends, our neighbours and all your people. Grant that we may rejoice that you are made flesh and dwell among us. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So may the Father who has shown his love for us be with us. May the Son who's come to be among us be with us. May the Spirit who fills the whole world be with us. The Holy Three be within and without us now and evermore. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for prayer today and uh, I hope you have a great day. And if you're able to, you'll be back here for prayer tomorrow at 9.45. Until then, take care. Bye for now.